I'm from the Middle East. I'm a college student. Uh, is that Hello, I'm from the Middle East. I am from Iraq. Uh, I am from Egypt. And this is the first time I take that training school with Robbie. I have been to other trainings like this and I usually go out for outreach. But this time was different. Uh, this has changed my life in a very different way I've never experienced before. We went on the streets and now uh, like people have been getting healed receiving words of knowledge and prophecy. Uh, I have learned how to speak with people and to preach to them. Uh, one of them uh, who gave his life to Jesus. This, this training has changed the way I would go uh, and do outreach because um, I, it gave me more boldness. Holy Spirit was ministering to us and um, I know now that I have more boldness going out to the streets and preaching to people about Jesus. There was a person who, uh, a cab driver actually, who has accepted Jesus Christ as uh, we went out to preach the gospel to him. Um, this, this school has really changed uh, my life, uh, my, my, my walk, I would say, with God because um, I got delivered from the spirit of fear and the spirit of rejection. Uh, my natural or my norm is to be afraid to talk to people, that I'm very shy. For the first time, I have boldness to go to talk to people very easily. For the first time, to me, to experience, I had to have a word of knowledge from God and to tell it to someone. I never used to have the boldness to go out to people and preach the gospel and tell them about Jesus Christ. And I attended this kingdom school and he gave me boldness and I f it gave me boldness and I felt the presence of the Lord very powerfully. And I learned how to preach and how to tell other people about Jesus. When we went out for outreach, I sat with a girl. And while I was talking to her, I found out that she was a uh, p police, uh, an, an investigation police. And I didn't, I wasn't afraid, I kept on talking to her. Um, and the Lord gave me words of knowledge about things that had happened with her. Uh, at the end of our meeting, uh, the lady was crying and she, uh, she didn't want me to leave. So I encourage you and I bless you to come and see what the Lord's doing here and take it back to your nation to be equipped and equip also the nation to receive the reward of their suffering of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.